Uh, did there come a point in time that uh, you retrieved any phones from that room? No. While you were in that room, isn't it true that you picked up two phones and hand them to the daughter? I think, you know what had happened was she, the daughter was on the phone with 911. So she had a phone and it had blood on it and it was someone else's phone because I think she had her own. So she had, there, there were phones, but I, I grabbed one because it was dispatch. I was like, you can hang up because I'm here. But I, other than that, I didn't handle any more phones at the house. She states that you handed her two phones, one being her mom's and one being my client's. As, as AMR was leaving, you handed the phones over to her? I don't recall that. Is it possible that you just don't have a recollection? It's possible. I don't. I know that I was trying to, I was trying to find her mom's property. I was looking for her wallet so that her mom would have stuff at the hospital. I didn't find the wallet, so... So, and at this time, I had my phone, my mom's phone, and Garrett's phone. How would you get all the phones? The officers handed it to me when they left the house. Um, and after she was transported, what did you do at that point? I remained at the residence. Uh, took some. The corporal was there. He was taking photographs. I was making sure everything at the house was secure, and then. Skyler had gone to the hospital with her mom, and so I went to went to the hospital also because I hadn't really done an interview with her yet, and so I went to the hospital to contact her.